Hey everyone, ready for another deep dive. Today we're looking at iNews Inc. Oh yeah, iNews. And they're doing some pretty cool stuff with AI and healthcare. Mm -hmm. We're working from their press release um, from December 18th, 2024. And get this, they've got this thing called an AI nose. An AI that can smell. How crazy is that? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Essentially, iNews has figured out a way to, well, they can digitize scent. Give AI a sense of smell. It's called smell ID. Okay, hold on. Back up a second. How does an AI smell? Like, what does that even mean? So, every smell has a unique chemical signature, right? It's just a combination of molecules that give it its, you know, its character. Uh. Inus has found a way to capture those signatures and digitize them. So, they're like teaching the AI to recognize patterns, kind of like how we learn. Like, we know coffee smells different from fresh cut grass. Exactly. It's building a library of smells, a digital one. And the AI compares new scents to that database and identifies them. Wow. Okay, so we've got an AI that can smell, but what can we actually do with that? So many things. Healthcare is a huge one. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask about that. Think about it. Diagnosing diseases just by smelling someone's breath or, or bodily fluids. Whoa. It's incredible. That sounds like something straight out of Star Trek. Right. iNews has actually developed a device. It's called iNews Flora, and it focuses on women's health. It can detect STIs with crazy accuracy. Okay, now we're talking. How accurate are we talking? Up at 94% accuracy. That's that's way better than most traditional STI tests. 94%? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. That's incredible. Early detection is key with STIs, right? Huge, yeah. This could be a total game changer for treatment and how well people recover. For sure. And think about the impact on public health in general. Absolutely. Faster, more accurate diagnoses. Yeah. That means we can slow the spread of infections and improve, you know, overall well-being. So it's not just healthcare, though, right? The press release mentioned something about industrial applications, too. Oh, yeah, totally. The AI nose is going to be huge for industrial safety. Imagine detecting hazardous material leaks or gas leaks before they before they even become dangerous. Preventative stuff. Exactly. Preventing accidents, protecting workers. Wow. They're already working with a few partners to develop a platform. It's for volatile organic compound detection. VOCs. Yeah. For smart manufacturing, they're getting some really good results. That's awesome. What about um what about elderly care? Another big one, iNose is looking into how the AI knows could monitor seniors remotely. Really? Yeah, by by analyzing their scent. The AI could pick up on subtle changes, changes that might mean there's a health problem even before there are any obvious symptoms. So like an early warning system. Precisely. That could be huge, especially for folks who live alone or have trouble getting to a doctor. Exactly. Peace of mind for everyone involved. This is incredible. It seems like the possibilities are endless. Right. It's amazing how Inos is bringing this tech to life. But hold on, there's more, right? They also have this Vildona therapy. Yeah, yeah, Vildona. What's that all about? It's a low-dose interferon therapy. Super promising for treating all kinds of diseases. Interferon therapy? That sounds kind of intense. So interferons are proteins that our bodies make naturally. They fight off viruses and other, you know, invaders. It's a crucial part of our immune system. Okay. Interferon therapy just gives your immune system a boost. You introduce more interferons. So Veldoni, it's like a it's like a booster shot for your immune system. Exactly. And what makes Veldona so special, it's low dose and you take it orally. Oh, interesting. Traditionally, interferon therapy has been, well, it's high doses, usually through injections, which can cause some pretty bad side effects. Yeah, I can imagine. iNews has figured out how to make it low dose and oral, so fewer side effects, but it still works great at boosting the immune system. That's amazing. What are they using Vildona to treat? One focus is Sjogren syndrome. Sjogren syndrome. It's an autoimmune disease that affects the glands that produce moisture in the eyes and mouth. Oh, wow. That sounds awful. Autoimmune diseases are really tough to treat. Yeah, they are. So any new therapy that gives people hope is huge. Absolutely. They're also looking into Veldona for HIV-related oral warts. Really? Yeah, they're common and hard to treat in HIV patients. It seems like they're doing a lot with this therapy. The press release even mentioned something about vet medicine. Oh, yeah. They're doing trials for Veldona to treat FCGS in cats. FCGS. What's that? It's basically a really painful inflammation in the gums. It makes cats' lives pretty miserable, and the current treatments aren't always that effective. So they're not just helping people. They're helping animals, too. That's right. I love that. It shows they're really committed to improving health across the board. Okay, so we've got this AI that can smell disease and a therapy that supercharges your immune system. What's next?
What are Ainu's big goals for 2025 and beyond? Well, one of their main objectives is to ramp up production of the AI nose technology. They want to get it out there mm -hmm. in healthcare, senior care, even smart manufacturing. That's a lot. Huh. What about Veldona? They're planning to move forward with Veldona clinical trials, aiming to finish the Sjogren syndrome trials by 2026. And they want to submit applications to the FDA for both Sjogren's syndrome and HIV-related oral warts. They've got a lot on their plate. It's clear iNews is serious about making a real impact. It's not just developing the tech, it's getting it out there and making a difference. I'm really interested to learn more about their strategy and how they're navigating the world of healthcare innovation. Me too. And that's exactly what we'll be digging into next. iNews seems to get it. They understand that just having amazing tech isn't enough in healthcare. Yeah, you need a good strategy. You need to know the market. Totally. We've talked about what their technology does, but now I'm curious about how they're gonna actually bring it to the world. Right, and their press release really emphasizes collaboration. Oh yeah, I noticed that too. They're partnering up with other companies. Like what? Nishinbo, Micro Devices, Itochu Techno Solutions, even Mitsubishi Tanabe Pharma Corporation. Big names. It makes sense though, right? Partnering with companies that have expertise in manufacturing, distribution, all that. That can really speed things up. Definitely. And it lets iNews focus on what they're good at, research and development. The classic synergy play. I also see a lot about intellectual property, which makes sense. Got to protect those innovations. Huge in healthcare and tech. Patents, trademarks, trade secrets. Yeah. That's how you protect your inventions. It gives you an edge over the competition. So iNews is building a fortress around their tech. Pretty much. But they're not just protecting their own stuff, they're also looking into licensing their tech to other companies. Wait, really? Why would they share their secrets? Think of it like this. Licensing is a win-win. Okay. iNews makes money from their IP and they get wider market reach. The other company gets access to cutting edge tech. I guess that makes sense. It shows they're confident in their tech too. They're not afraid of a little competition. It all points to a really smart approach, you know? They know that collaboration and partnerships are key in healthcare, especially with how fast things are changing. For sure. Yeah. And let's not forget the science behind it all. They're doing clinical trials following all the regulations. Yeah, it's rigorous. They're not just throwing stuff out there. You gotta prove that it works and that it's safe for people. Exactly, it builds trust with investors and with patients. Speaking of, let's go back to Valdona for a minute. You mentioned that low-dose interferon therapy was a breakthrough. Oh yeah, it's huge. How is it different from the traditional interferon therapies? Well, traditional therapy usually means high doses, given through injections, and it can come with some nasty side effects. Oh, I bet. Like what? Fatigue, flu-like symptoms. Some people even get depressed. Yikes. That's where Veldona comes in. Low-dose, you take it as a pill, mm -hmm. and way fewer side effects. Sounds much better. And it still does a great job of boosting the immune system. Like taking a vitamin, but one that actually fights disease. Exactly. And because the dose is lower, they can potentially treat even more conditions. Right. Fewer side effects, more options. And that's what we see with Ainu's plan for Veldona. They're looking at autoimmune diseases, viral infections, even cancer. It's the same approach they're taking with the AI knows. Yeah. Not just focusing on one thing, but exploring all the possibilities. Makes them a very interesting company to watch. I agree. That kind of thinking leads to breakthroughs. It's like they're casting a wide net. <laughs> okay, so we've been pretty positive about Inus, but is there anything about their strategy that makes you hesitant? Any red flags? Well, one thing to remember is that they're still a pretty young company. Yeah, they are. They have all this amazing tech, but getting it from the lab to the real world, that's always a challenge. Oh, absolutely. Lots of hurdles along the way. Regulations, competition, you name it. They also seem to be banking a lot on these partnerships. Right, that's a big part of their strategy. Which means it all depends on those partnerships working out. Exactly. They need to choose the right partners. And manage those relationships carefully. Make sure everyone's on the same page. High stakes. But so far, they seem to be doing a good job. All right, let's shift gears a bit. Let's talk about the impact iNews tech could have on society as a whole. That's important to think about. New tech always has societal implications, mm -hmm. especially in healthcare. Right. So the AI knows, we talked about the good stuff, but what are some of the potential downsides? One concern with AI is always bias. Bias. How could that play into the AI knows? Well, the AI learns from data. If that data is incomplete or skewed, the AI's results could be inaccurate, 
or even discriminatory. So like if the AI was mostly trained on data from one specific group of people, it might not be as accurate for people from other backgrounds. Exactly. And that could have serious consequences. Especially in healthcare, where diagnoses and treatment decisions are being made. Exactly. So data diversity and testing are key. Absolutely. Another thing to think about is privacy. Okay. The AI knows collects biological information, very personal information. Yeah, your smell can tell a lot about you. Your health, what do you eat, even your mood. Exactly. So we need rules, regulations to protect people's privacy, to make sure this information isn't misused. It's a tough balance, right? Yeah. We want the benefits of this amazing tech, but we also need to protect people's rights. It's a conversation we need to have, and it can't just be scientists and engineers. We need ethicists, policymakers, and the public too. We've covered a lot today, from the nitty gritty of how AI smells to the bigger societal impact of it all. It's been a wild ride. iNews is definitely a company to keep an eye on, pushing the boundaries in healthcare and beyond. But before we wrap up, I wanna to touch on one last thing, something that really stood out to me. Their work in veterinary medicine. Oh yeah, with Veldona for FCGS in cats. It's cool to see them applying their tech beyond human health. It shows they're not just focused on people, they wanna improve the lives of animals too. Exactly. The quest for innovation goes beyond species, I guess. It's a nice thought iNews is really committed to improving health and well-being for everyone, whether it's two legs or four. It all comes back to their belief in science. Yeah. And its power to make a difference in the world. But it raises a question, doesn't it? What are the ethics of using this kind of advanced tech on animals? That's a great point. We talked about the ethical concerns for humans, but when you bring animals into the equation, things get even more complicated. Right. Like, do animals have the same right to privacy how do we make sure they're being treated well when we use this tech on them? Big questions. We need to have that conversation. It's a reminder that as we keep innovating, we need to think about the ethics, not just for ourselves, but for all living things. Couldn't agree more. And it's great that Inus is thinking about these ethical issues up front. Yeah, they're not just blindly pushing the tech forward. It's refreshing to see a company taking ethics seriously, you know? Totally. And speaking of the future, one area where Inus tech could be really impactful is addressing the challenges of an aging population. Oh, for sure. We've touched on it a bit, but it's a big deal, right? Huge. The global population is aging rapidly, and that puts a lot of pressure on healthcare systems everywhere. Yeah, we see already. More age-related diseases, higher demand for long-term care, resources are getting stretched thin. It's a complex issue, and it's only going to get more complicated in the years to come. Exactly. And that's where iNews could really make a difference. How so? Well, think about the AI knows. It could revolutionize how we care for older folks, especially those who live alone or have trouble getting to the doctor. Like having a device in their home that can detect problems early on. Exactly. A non-invasive way to catch health issues before they get serious. That would be incredible. It's all about preventative care, empowering people to stay healthy. And what about Veldoni? Could that help with age-related diseases? Potentially, yeah. Imagine treating things like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, even macular degeneration, using a safe and effective therapy like Veldona. That's an exciting thought, but there's still a long way to go. Oh, absolutely. More research, more trials. Yeah. We need to keep innovating. But it feels like iNews is on the right track. I think so too. Their commitment to science, their partnerships, right. and their focus on ethics. It gives me hope that they can really make a difference. They're not just looking at short-term profits. They're investing in the future of healthcare. They're going after the root causes of disease, mm. trying to improve health and extend lifespans. It's a bold vision. It really is. Yeah. And I'm excited to see what they do next. Me too. Well, I think that wraps up our deep dive into the world of iNews Inc. It's been a fascinating look at their technology and their mission. They're a company to watch for yeah. sure. We'll be keeping a close eye on their progress. And to all our listeners, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We hope you learned something new and that you're as excited about the future of healthcare as we are. Thanks for having me. It was great to be here. Do you want a deep dive podcast like this? Contact Bull Run by Charlie Devanzo.